Hey everyone, Jesse here with Epic Outreach at One Epic Farm, and I think I have a special guest in the background, Cody, who is wondering what we're doing on the farm. And welcome to our piggy painting party. And this piggy painting party is inspired by the one and only Oliver, Oliver's Big Problem, which is a children's book that tells the story of our rescue pig, Oliver, um, who lives here at One Epic Farm. And uh, today I'm gonna walk you through how to uh, draw and paint a uh, picture portrait of Oliver or any pig. And then we're gonna go meet Oliver in person. And so welcome, thank you for joining. And you can learn more about Epic Outreach at epicoutreach.org. And uh, thank you for um, coming to uh, paint a pig with us. And so I encourage you to be creative, have fun, embrace. As you can see, I'm wearing a red hat, blue glasses, and I'm very colorfully um, attired with my shirt. And so any colors you want to use to paint your pig is up to you. I do have some examples I will share with you. So this is the pig that we're going to paint. And this one is gray with a green background. I have also painted a yellow one with a green background. And this one has blue background. So really, you can have fun. So I'm gonna paint my pig today gray, and uh, I'm going to give um, his background uh, blue because I love blue, it's one of my favorite colors. Whatever your favorite color is, please, I encourage you to paint and be creative with your drawing and your painting. And so some of the things you will need is a uh, pencil to draw your pig. Um, you will need paint brushes of varying sizes. Uh, I do have a container of water to wash my paintbrush, although we're not gonna wash our paintbrushes too much. We're really gonna use the colors and blend them and you'll see once we get started. Um, I have various colors, so I have green and black. I have yellow and red and my favorite trusted white. Um, so varying colors, uh, blue of course. I also have a black magic marker. We will do some outlining at the end. And then I have a painting palette. Now, if you don't have a painting palette, you can use a basic paper plate. Will work. And I also have a paper towel. So um, I can wash my brushes off or um, if I need to use that. Um, I also have a uh, sketch pad. So this is just a basic sketch pad paper. Uh, if you have canvas, feel free to use a canvas. Um, but I'm not going fancy, I'm just gonna use a paper. Um, your paper may curl while it dries um, versus a canvas that's gonna be more flat and more uh, sturdy, but feel free to use what you want to use. So I'm gonna turn this to face. My little canvas and I'm actually gonna take my sunglasses off so I, I can see better and I encourage you guys to go check out epicoutreach.org you can also email me at jesse j-e-s-s-i-e -S -S -E, at epic animals plural s dot org and I'd love to see your artwork once you're done so let's get started with painting Oliver so we're gonna start off with our pencil of course and we're going to draw his um, his head first. So it's just going to be um, a basic circle. Um, so you just want to draw, and you want to leave a little room at the top, uh, just so you can color for a background. So we're just going to do a circle. And you guys don't worry about being perfect. So you'll see I'm going to draw a circle for his face, and I'm just going around and around and around, so just a basic circle like you're making a sun. And then for his ears, we're gonna do almost like an oval. So you're gonna do a loop over, as if you're gonna come all the way around over like an oval, and then you're gonna come down with a line and then go right back up. And that's his ear. And we're gonna do that same thing over here on this side. So just like an oval, just a round arch, almost like you're making a rainbow, and then come down, and then go up. Look at that. Your Oliver has two ears. 
men for his body, or I should say, you can name your pig whatever you want. So this is our pig, I call him Oliver. Um, and then for his body, he's pretty fat, so we're gonna just round him around. And then for his leg, we're gonna just do a little, another arch. So basically just doing a bunch of arches. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. Just come down like an arch. And on this side, we're gonna do his leg, an arch. And then for his eyes, we're gonna do two full ovals at the top. And then for his nose, we're gonna do a bigger, same thing, kind of like a circle, but an oval, just a little bit bigger. And we're gonna paint over these, but I'm just gonna put those in there for wrinkles and a smile. And then his nose. And now for his legs, as you can see, he's got a couple of legs here. We're gonna put those legs in and we're gonna be making W's. So you're gonna just come, and they're gonna be like long sided W's. So you're just gonna come down and go straight up like you're making a W, but then follow it all the way through. And we're just gonna do two of those. And again, you guys don't have to be perfect, right? We're just doing kind of an outline. And then we're gonna go in and paint this and uh, paint over all the lines. So anything that you've made corrections on or you've gone over a couple of times, don't worry about it, we'll cover it with paint. Um, so how about that, you guys? Looks like a pig to me. So now we're ready to paint our pig. And I don't use a lot of paint because I like it to dry fast. And the type of paint we're using is just your basic acrylic paint. Uh, I get this at like a art store, like a Hobby Lobby or a Michaels, um, whenever you have local where you live. So the, I'm going to use black and I'm going to mix it with white. So I'm just going to do a little bit. And you may need to add more. I'm going to put a bunch of white in there and you'll see I have that. It's just two little dots. I might go give it a little bit more black. I don't think I used enough black. And then I'm going to use, I'm going to use a flat brush. So this is my flat brush and it's small, but I'm going to, I've used it a lot, so it's a little, a little crunchy, but I'm going to mix my white and my black and I'm just going to start painting. And I'm not worried about perfection, you guys, so I'm just going to start painting my pig. Add a little bit more white to that. Not going to worry about staying in the lines. And it's okay if you have streaks if you're mixing. So if you want to make your pig pink or blue and you add some other colors to lighten it, that's fine. And because I'm not using a lot, it's going to dry really fast. And the beautiful thing about it drying really fast is that if you want to go over it again to make it a different color or um, outline it more, you can. And it's okay if the rest of it doesn't match. And don't worry about um, your background just yet. We'll do that later. So I'm going around the eyes and just coloring this all in. It's almost like coloring with crayons, only you're using paint. And you just get to watch Oliver come to life. So I'll tell you a little bit about Oliver. Oliver is a pot belly pig and he is a rescue at the sanctuary here. We have a farm sanctuary, Epic Outreach. Uh, started one Epic Farm in 2019. And uh, before I continue, I'll just uh, tell you guys, I'm going to give right underneath his chin area where we had that outline of his head. I'm gonna make it a little bit darker just because I want his um, chin area to kind of stand out. So I'm just going to do like a little bit of highlighting underneath that, and then I'm going to blend it in with the rest as I go down. Add a little white, and just sort of blend it all in. And I haven't finished up here yet, so I'm going to finish that. And I did cover the wrinkles, but we'll go back in. That's why you have a black magic marker. 
we're going to go back in and uh, highlight that in his mouth too. So there you go. So Epic Outreach started One Epic Farm in 2019 and our primary focus is humane education, so education outreach. And uh, we have rescued animals here that help to be ambassadors. And Oliver is one of those ambassadors. And Oliver used to be what we call a stray pig. I'm just going to hold this up because I'm on a... Meaning he was left out to fend for himself. He was clearly an owned pig at one point because he is housebroken. He lives in the barn. And uh, he's housebroken and he knows his name. Pigs are really, really smart. So you guys see there, I've finished painting his leg. Now I'm going around those, the W part. I'm gonna leave this middle section right here. Um, I'm not gonna paint it in fully because I'm gonna make that a light pink color. And you'll see, um, you might want to, if you're painting your pig pink, you might want to make it a light gray, just to give his belly a little bit of a different color. Uh, I'm going to match it to the inside of his ears that have a slightly lighter color as well. There you go. Um, so pigs are really smart. So I'm going to go ahead and paint in his legs, visually remembering where those lines are. So I'm going to go back through and outline that. And in a second here, we're going to don't, don't paint in the W part right down here where the W is for his hooves. We're going to go in and paint that. There you go. See, my pig isn't perfect, you guys. It's not perfect in, um, in color, so it's not just all one color. And you'll notice when we meet Oliver that he's not all one color either. He kind of just gonna go in there and outline his little head area. Um, so I'm gonna put my my um, square brush in the water because I'm going to grab this brush, which is a little bit pointier, because I'm gonna go in and paint the hooves, and I'm gonna make those solid black because they are one solid color. And I'm using the pointy brush because I have better control in doing those curves. And I'm going to you bring that hoof part up a little bit so that it really And again, it doesn't have to be perfect, as you can see. I'm gonna do that over here as well. A little bit more control with that pointy brush. And I don't use fancy brushes, just um, things that I bought at the craft store, just where I got the paint. And I'm just gonna do that. I'm, Leaving the splotchy marks at the top because I'm going to blend it in. I'm going to go back through. But while I have my my brush with the full with the black, I'm going to go in and do his eyeballs. So I'm going to go ahead and paint his eyes. I got that black wet. I'm going to do that over here. We'll do that to his nose as well, but we need to finish the nose first before we add the black. And just a little bit more. We're also going to add a little bit of a white speck to his eye once that black dries. And his eyes don't have to be perfect, as you can see. So I'm going to put my black. brush in the water just so it doesn't dry out. I am sitting outside so things dry a little bit faster. And I got my other brush again because I'm going to go back in with the white and I've got to use a little bit more white. 
add that to the black to make that gray again. And I'm just going to go in and sort of blend up the, the legs. And this is a little bit not fully painted in down here, so I'm going to paint that in a little bit better. There. Now, for his nose part, you guys, I would make that um, a little bit of a lighter color. And then we'll go in with the black afterwards. So whatever color you were using for his body, just add a little bit more white to it and make it really light to really um, highlight that nose part. As you can see, that's much lighter than the rest of the gray. So back to Oliver's story. Oliver was a stray. Somebody found him, realized he was owned, and they brought him here to the farm. Now, Oliver lived here before we started the farm, and when the people that were selling the farm uh, were moving, they didn't really have a place for him to go. And Oliver loves the farm so much. He was so happy here. And so we allowed and agreed to let him stay, and we absolutely love him today. So he's a great pig. He'll roll over. He'll come with called. He's a great ambassador for um, how smart pigs can be. And uh, we'd love to tell his story and share it with you guys. So I can't wait for you to meet him. All right, so now I'm gonna use my color red, and I'm only gonna use a little bit, you guys, because I'm just gonna paint this part in here pink, and I'm gonna give his little ears some pink highlights. But I don't need a lot, because um, I don't want it to be bright red. I'm gonna actually add my, the pink, and I'm not even cleaning my brush. I'm just using the gray that was on there, and adding to it, and even mixing it in with it, because we want it to all just blend it together, so I don't mind it being a little gray with the pink and we're just going to splotch it in there we're going to come up between his feet that we just painted black just to give him a little bit of a black belly or i mean a sorry a pink belly and then for his ears we're just gonna just do the bottom part And the same over here. There we go. And then I'm gonna actually go back in with some of the gray and kind of just blend it. Just kind of blend it in. Not going too crazy. We don't want to make it too perfect, right? This is just a portrait. And we're having fun, right guys? The whole point of painting is to have fun. And when it's not fun, that's when it becomes not fun. Right? And I'm just going to go over that and blend it in kind of with the rest. There we go. Oliver starting to come to life. Now, my black brush that I was using. I just need to add a little bit more black to go over the nostrils and the nose. And then we'll work on probably put too much paint in there. But for this painting you don't really need a lot of paint at all. So just using straight black and I'm just going to put his little nose in. Just a little bit more. There we go. Look at that. It's coming to life, you guys. I can't wait to see what your painting looks like. It is going to be so much fun. So please, again, share it with me. Jesse, J-E-S-S-I-E, -S -S -E, at epicanimals.org. I uh, would love to see your painting. Now I'm going to do blue background, remember? And so I'm going to just take my blue and put a little bit in 
on my little painting palette and then I'm gonna get my big brush and I'm gonna actually mix my blue with some white just to make it a little bit lighter of a color there's some red in there and some gray and it's okay if it's lines again we're not being perfect so I'm gonna start up here and just paint and this is where it gets really fun you guys because you can go back and outline Oliver's face and his body so anything you want to cover up that you weren't able to before feel free to do that and again it doesn't have to be perfect right and I'm gonna be really careful on the edges with mine but you guys can paint all the way to the end just because I'm on a uh, I'm painting on a on a board that I don't want to paint <laughs> I don't want to get paint on it because I use it for other things, but that's okay. And you can make, it doesn't have to be perfect. As you can see, I have some color streaking in my, in my paint background and that's okay. Getting in that corner there. And anytime you do something you don't like, you can go back through and um, fix it. And not really fix it, because nothing's ever a mistake. But if you don't like what it looks like, you can go back through and make it how you want. Uh, when the paint's dry, you just paint over it. That's the beauty of creating things, is that you can, with art, is that you can readjust and make things more to your liking. That's why I love creativity and art because it's so fun and you can self-express and have things be one way and then go back and make them another way. You can add more paint, you can lighten things up, darken things. And I'm going to actually pick this up just to get a little bit closer over here. How to add more paint. And so now my blue is a little bit lighter, but that's okay. I like blue. It's my favorite color. What's your favorite color? When you send me your Oliver painting, tell me what your favorite color is. Everybody has a favorite color. My eyes are blue, and so I love the color blue, and it's always been a favorite color of mine. There you go. There is Oliver. And now I told you guys I was gonna use the black marker to, oh, you know what we forgot? We forgot the eyes. So you, oh, what's really cool is you can make your Oliver come to life by just adding a little white dot in his eye to give him that little sparkle. And I'm gonna use the white, or the, the small round brush I was using for the black and I just uh, wiped it off, cleaned it in my water, and I just got some white, and all you do is just do a dot. Right, kind of in the middle, but towards the top. And there we go. And now we can go in with your black marker. And you can add his smile. And his wrinkles. And I like to outline the nose. I like to outline the ears just to give them a little bit more emphasis. Not fully. I'm going to outline the face. And I'll outline his ears. And now we can go in and outline his legs. And you can give him some character by just 
adding those in. You can go all the way down and make your W with your marker if you want. And then we can outline his body. And his legs really show that Oliver has come to life. There he is. What do you think, guys? He looks so handsome, doesn't he? So much fun. And remember, you can check us out at epicoutreach.org. And uh, please send me your paintings. I would love to see if you've made an orange Oliver, maybe a pink one, a red one, a green one, blue one, or maybe what color your background is. But now let's go meet Oliver because that's the other part of this opportunity. So let's go meet Oliver. And I will put on my sunglasses to emphasize the color fun that we just had. So thanks for joining this uh, piggy painting party. And now let's go meet Oliver. And I will give you a tour and show you some of the other animals. That's the barn right there that you're seeing. And these are some of the donkeys. So you're looking at Zeke and Zimba, are two of our donkeys. Um, and everybody here at the farm is a rescued animal. So they've all come from some background. Some of them have been strays, just like Oliver. Imagine that there are considered um, horses and um, mules. We have a mule here named Teddy and he was a stray. Imagine that somebody lost their animal friend, their big equine animal friend. You can see the guy, all of them in the background there. I want to get Oliver to you. And so I, Oliver is in the barn right now. And so I'm going to uh, let you meet him in here. Oh, do you hear him? Yeah, there he is. He is ready to come out and I have some treats for him. Hi, Aline. There he is. There's Ollie who wants a treat. Say hi, Ollie. That's Oliver. And he's probably about 200 pounds, you guys. I'm trying to give you a good view of him. And um, he knows how to sit. Can you sit? Sit. Good boy. He knows how to sit. He knows his name. Ah, oh, Ollie. Good boy. Here he is. Here you go, Ollie. He loves his treats. He loves carrots and apples. All kinds of treats. And there's all kinds of friends here at the farm. All right, guys, and there are some of the horses. This is Buck, and that is Taz. And this is our farm friend dog, our tater tot. All right, guys, there you go. Everybody's coming up to look for a treat now. So thank you for joining our piggy, piggy painting party, and uh, please, Send me your paintings. Love to see them. Uh, Jesse, J-E-S-S-I-E, -S -S -E, at epicanimals.org. And uh, we sure enjoyed having you join the Piggy Painting Party. Thanks, everyone.